Hey everyone, this is a quick video. I'm going to show you um, how I do some of my salts. And this is going to be something that is for me. So I'm going to show it to you and explain to you how I arrived at this process. This is a dendritic, dendritic, oh I can't say it today, dendritic salt. And that's the best kind of salt to use when you want to impart scent into your salts. So I started with den, den, I <laughs> can't say it, dendritic salt. And I took it and I put it in a baggie. And to the baggie, I added vanilla essential oil. And I left it in the baggie for 30 minutes. And then I added to it uh, some Epsom salt, some um, SLSA, which is for making bubbles, some baking soda, and some citric acid. So it will be foamy and fizzy. So after I added those, I tested a handful of it in the, in the tub, and it's very foamy and fizzy. And then I added some Pacific sea salt from both California and Hawaii and some dead sea salt. So I have a nice, very nice group of salts right here in white. And people who want wedding favors will sometimes want it in all white or they'll want it with their colors. So I'm going to show you this in blue. Now what I did with blue was I did the same thing. I did the dendritic, <laughs> the desalt, and I put it in a baggie with some citric essential oils, some orange essential oils, and then some Caribbean type fragrance oils. So I did that, put it all in, and then I colored it with uh, with some, some skin safe mica that is typically used in bath bombs. And I'm not going to say the name of it because if I did, you would know exactly where I got it from. But the name of the color is, you know, has bath bomb in it. So I took that, the coloring, the scent, and the desalt put them all together in a baggie and then I brought it out and I added some pink Himalayan sea salt. Now if you put pink Himalayan sea salt you'll be able to see that some of the larger core, the larger grains which I use all three uh, all three grain sizes. I use the, the coarse, the medium and the fine and there's even one that's even finer. It looks like it almost looks like table salt is so fine. So I did some uh, Pacific sea salt, some dead sea salt, some Epsom salt, and some pink Himalayan sea salt. And the larger ones are not, are, the larger grains are still pink, so apparently they don't color. So if I were to do this for a customer, I would, I would not go with the larger ones. But this is a custom, a custom salt. And if I was making this for a customer, I would just put this here and then I would take I would take this and this and I would do this and put them in there with the white, and the white smells very vanilla-y. And it's also much finer than here because there's no, um, there's no pink Himalayan sea salt in here, which there is in the blue. So there are bigger grains in the blue. So I put it down there and then I'll Put it down and because this is for me you know I'm not too concerned that it didn't come out you know completely straight but and if you're doing it for a customer you want them to be straighter so you want to really this is a plastic uh, bottle and 
Well, I prefer the plastic bottles, and most of my customers do. They're hard to t it's hard to tell the difference. These are so hard compared to the glass. But one one advantage to the glass is that it does make a little uh, more defined layers. So then I'll do another layer. Let's see if we can get this a little. Like I said this is for me, so. Put it down. And if you're doing for a customer and you see that it's coming out lighter, because I would prefer this to be a little darker, I would dump this whole thing out, put it in here. As you can see, this is one of my, as uh, Amberell says when she's cooking, and she's she throws something in a pot that she's not going to use, she calls it the thank you for coming pot. So this is my thank you for coming pot in my salts. So if I were use, if I were doing it for a customer, I would start all over again because I would think like this blue isn't blue enough and they would go into my thank you for coming and we'd start all over again. But I'm not going to, well, I'm going to start all over again because I just want to show you what I do. But with when it's just for me or... You know, I have some friends that really don't care if it's layered or not layered, or if we're doing it all in one color. So, some people add glycerin to their salts, and some people say that makes them clumpy. And I think that you can not use glycerin and have it come out clumpy. I mean, sometimes salts are just very persnickety when, you, when you're when you using them. So, you know, and I didn't get that layer, you know, very straight. Again, this is for me. So it's perfectly fine. I would be much more detailed and slow if I was doing this for a client and sometimes you know they I pack them as well as I can but sometimes the packing doesn't doesn't work out so well and what I do with my clients is I will tell them you know I will send you the bottle and the salts and in separate bags and you can layer it yourself but as you can see you know sometimes they're not going to come out even because you're dealing with salts and different, several different courses. But it does look, it does look pretty, even if the layers are not even. They they look pretty, you know. So if you're using very pretty colors, I want to get rid of some of these larger pink pieces. And like I said, if I was selling this to a customer, I would definitely be taking those big pink big pieces out if they had ordered you know white and blue they wouldn't get those pink um, I do have pink Himalayan sea salt in here that was colored with the blue but the big ones are not coloring so well so I want a little bit more blue on that layer and let's see we got a lot of pink in that one and I'm missing these up pretty much on the counter okay so I filled it all the way up to the top um, which if this was for a customer I would make these uh, more defined I would also put less white in the blue but when you undo this, the blue is going to be like a Caribbean scent and the white is going to be vanilla and when they come together, it's just fabulous. So what I'll do with this is I will put these together and I will label them, you know, fizzy and foaming because they have everything in it. And I'll put these together and because this has been an experimental batch. I'm not going to put it in any customer bottles for sale, but I use them for myself and I use them for family. 
and I use them to test out, you know, my different ratios. And if you're doing this, please write down exactly how much you use. Otherwise, you'll come to the perfect ratio and then say, how did I do that? <laughs> what was I doing? So I'm going to put all this in my thank you for coming bowl. And I will see you all again. So here we have our personal use bath fizzy foamy salts. I was just getting ready to put everything away and I realized that I forgot the one step that I wanted to show you and that was how this works in water. Now I did another video before showing a lot of different of a lot of different bath salts in the bathtub, the actual bathtub, not the make believe bathtub. So I'm going to put this in and show you how it goes. Sometimes they overflow, so you don't want that. But this makes a nice little fizzy foamy action. And I have a jetted tub, so this is going to be very foamy when the jets are on. And if you see the the light blue water, this will not stain your tub. It won't even be on your tub when you rinse it off. So that's, I'm gonna put a little bit more in. But this is basically what it looks like and I can tell you this smells wonderful. The Caribbean with the vanilla, it just smells and it's so skin softening. The, the skin softening properties of these salts are amazing. And when you add the essential oils ah, and the baking soda and the SLSA, oh my goodness, it just, my hand feels so good. And we have some salts on the bottom, but they will dissolve in the tub. This water is not very hot. Um, I would definitely need hotter water for a bath. But anyway, this is just really, really nice. So this is the way those work. This is the fizzy, foamy, uh, blue tinted bath salts. And this would make such a wonderful, wonderful bath. And you just feel, so, you feel like you're in the Caribbean with the gorgeous blue water. So you can order this on our website and you can make it for baby shower favors, wedding shower favors, or wedding favors. So really, really nice stuff. So, uh, woo, it makes me want to go take a bath right now. Talk to you later.